Welcome back to Coding Goblin and welcome back to another video of my face. Just quickly, I am currently running a very special offer. If you subscribe to this YouTube channel, you can follow me on Instagram completely free. Just follow me here, I'll put a link in the description. Get this offer while stocks last. Okay, right, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, they are famously in the tech industry. They are very successful, three of the richest people of all time. They must be the best programmers ever, right? Surely, because everyone knows the more programming languages you learn, the more you upskill, the more software things you learn about and know, the more money you're gonna earn. Everyone knows that. That's why us developers are constantly learning new frameworks learning new programming languages, learning how to use different softwares. Because everyone knows, the more of those things you learn, the more money you make. Yeah, no, that's not the case at all, is it? So what do those three have in common that makes them earn so much money? Now, they might be bad examples because they are what are known as outliers. These people are exceptions to the rule. We're not all going to be able to make billions of dollars, billions of pounds. They are outliers. They're not the normal. I just repeated myself. But yeah, you get the point. So they're not necessarily the best examples. But if we take just your average person who runs a successful software company, probably a millionaire, they are not necessarily the best programmers. But what they are very good at is having balance of knowledge in their industry, marketing, PR, business in general. So what does this mean for us as self-employed web developers? Does this mean we need to continue learning new frameworks every month? So, no, it means we need to do exactly what I just said. We need to become more well-rounded. We need to become better at business and focus less on the actual coding. Mm. But coding's fun, and that's what we know, and that's our comfort zone. Yeah, that's a problem. That is a real problem. And as programmers, as web developers, if we want to start our businesses, if we want to go self-employed, if we want to grow, we're going to have to get our heads around that, and we're going to have to figure out how we can actually become business people more than just programmers, because that is where you're gonna make most of your money, by learning those skills. If you need to learn how to market and do sales and get more business in, and then you don't need to worry so much about the actual programming, because if you can master that skill of marketing and sales, you can grow your business so that you are then not doing the actual work of the business. You can have a team of developers doing that for you. Disclaimer, I do not have a team of developers doing that for me. I am still coding, but that's not to say that when I get to that point, I will still be coding. The goal is not to be doing the work in your business, it's to be working on your business. I don't know if you've heard people say it before, I certainly have, and that is my goal. I'm not there yet, I'm still running around like a headless chicken doing everything, and it's something you have to go through. It's the struggle you have to go through to get to the other side, to get to where you wanna be, where you're not working in your business. And so think about that one. So yeah, I'm not trying to hit, be here preaching to you as if I've made it, as if I'm like this guru who's all super successful and got all the answers, but a lot of things have started to click for me recently and I'm thinking a lot more clearly. So it's um, it's been really helpful for me to have these realizations and give me a bit more focus and understanding of something that I'm working towards rather than getting bogged down in uh, like coding and in a project and thinking that it's never ending. I'm thinking of the bigger picture and I'm thinking, okay, yeah, you're doing this at the moment, but you know what? All your other stuff's going in the right direction. You've got the goal in mind. You've got the vision. You can see the path. You can see the road that you're walking down and you can see where you're heading towards and you can see all your efforts are actually helping that. So I just wanted to kind of make that point because it's really easy and I've touched upon this before. We do have a pretty bad habit 
as web developers of just learning the latest technology, learning the latest framework, flitting between frameworks because a certain framework might have a feature that we think is slightly better or, you know, different programming languages. And it is because it's our comfort zone and it makes us feel productive. It makes us feel like we're actually progressing and doing something worthwhile when in fact we're probably not. We're probably not. Now, there are obviously exceptions to this. If you're not trying to run your own business, if you're working for a company and you're required to learn new skills, uh, then obviously that's perfectly fine and you're getting paid to do that. So if you're getting paid to learn these skills, then do it. But if you're not getting paid to learn new skills and you're reliant on yourself to actually get the work and do the work and get paid that way, then you are wasting your time learning all these new technologies. You just are. And I think deep down, you know that, you know that, you do know that. I'm not saying don't do it for enjoyment, but your time is valuable, very valuable. And so is your energy, especially if, if you're trying to run a business. Your energy is really important and where you direct that energy will have a direct impact on where you make money and how much money you make it will. And that's just the unfortunate truth of running a business that you need to allocate your energy and time wisely. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself in a situation where you've dedicated a lot of time to the wrong thing and you're not going to benefit from that and you're going to end up getting disheartened and you're going to feel like crap <laughs> because this is talking from experience, by the way. I'm talking from experience because you've allocated your time incorrectly and you've learned skills, but you've learned the wrong skills. So really think about that. Really think about that. When you, you next go to look at the latest JavaScript framework, maybe think, hmm, should I learn about marketing? Should I maybe start doing something else? Maybe I should start putting my face on camera and putting myself out there and doing something that makes me feel uncomfortable, but in the long run is gonna help me massively. And that is what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing with these videos. It's not natural for me to be putting my face on camera. I didn't want to do it. It wasn't something that I ever even considered doing. But when I looked into it, I thought, how can I improve my reach? How can I reach new people, um, get new business? And putting my face on camera was one of the ways I thought I could do that. And getting active on social media. It's not something that I wanted to do. It's not something I ever thought I'd do. So doing that has really opened a lot of doors for me. Not Nothing major, nothing major, but you'll be amazed at the amount of emails you get once you start putting videos out there and once you start getting a bit of momentum. Like even for me, I've got like just over a thousand subscribers and my um, my email inbox every day I'm getting emails now whereas before I would go weeks without getting any any emails just getting like spam marketing emails don't get me wrong I get a lot more spam marketing emails as well but I get a lot more opportunities I get a lot more people offering me things offering to work with me asking me stuff so it's good to see and we're not there yet it's it's a long long old journey to go down but I have seen a huge improvement since taking that plunge and getting more comfortable doing this. And not only that, I mean, you if you've watched my videos for a while, you will have seen yourself how much more comfortable I am on camera now and how much better I am at speaking to the point where, I mean, I don't go uh, 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 every two seconds anymore. I still do it. I'm sure I still do it, but it's a huge improvement. So. If you just look at that aspect alone, I've gained a new skill. I've learned something, <laughs> no. but it's actually a valuable skill, I think, and a skill that is actually helping my business grow rather than a skill that I'm never going to use, like a different JavaScript library that I have no use for. And that, if you don't even have a client, what are you learning all these skills for? Just think about that for a second. If you don't have clients, why are you learning all these skills? Because you're trying to kind of fill hypothetical situations that don't exist. You're trying to cover every every base. You're thinking, okay, what if I have a client that wants this? What if they want that? Realistically, you're probably going to have clients that want WordPress websites. 
if you're looking just to make marketing websites, you're gonna have WordPress clients. So you just need to have the basic knowledge down. You don't need to go crazy. You don't need to learn everything. What you need to learn is getting clients. Something I'm still learning, by the way. I do get clients, I have got clients, but I want that continuous stream of inquiries that you can tap into and maybe even have someone working for you to actually build the websites, potentially. Outsourcing is also an option, obviously, but that's the goal, that's the goal. So not quite there yet, but definitely in the right direction. And I can put that down to not focusing on learning new JavaScript frameworks and instead focusing on doing a bit of marketing, writing some content, making some content, you know, all that stuff. So I hope that this can be helpful to you and give you the nudge in the right direction that you need because it's not always obvious. And I think, especially in the beginning, you do feel like a bit of a headless chicken running around, not necessarily knowing what you should do. Uh, and I haven't told you directly what you should do because there isn't an answer of what you should do. But if you look into doing some marketing, a lot of people will say, start doing videos. And that was an option I chose. So I'm not saying you need to start doing videos, but I do recommend it. I do see the benefit and I've seen what it's done for me. So I'm telling you it is worth doing. It's not a complete waste of time, but there are obviously other ways of marketing as well. Google ads is a good option. If you literally just want to get clients, Google ads, but again, you do have to spend money doing that. So this is a good option because it's completely free. Um, yeah, so that is just my take on it. Remember, I've got that buy one, get one free offer. Subscribe to this channel and you can follow my Instagram completely free. Wow, that is a great deal. Do all that YouTube stuff, like the video, subscribe to the video, no, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Let me know if you're focusing on marketing and can you let me know how you're doing it? Cause it'd be great to know. And then I can do it myself. And if you've got any hints and tips of how to get clients, that would be great. All right, thanks for watching and see you soon at the end.